you can win this R32 in $3,000 cash. If you want to enter, just click the links that I've got for you in the top of the description. You get three entries for every dollar you spend at five. Just grab my boob. <laughs> Three entries of five, three supply, or two entries with my promo code at PowerJDM if you need any car parts, oil, spark plugs, body kit, wheels, tire suspension, whatever it is. Use the links I've got for you in the description below, and good luck. So I'm resuming on the Skyline today, trying to make it look nice. The engine is just in such huge need of some love. I have actually put some aircraft paint stripper on this, and it's some pretty intense stuff. Definitely wear a mask if you're doing this. It's turning my brush bristles into goop. But, doing a pretty good job of getting this stuff off so far. This has got to be the strongest smelling substance I've ever been around in my life. All that paint off. This is going to be, oh, nice. This stuff is gross, but it works really well. Wow, dude, this is crazy. So unfortunately, I need higher grit sandpaper to keep this process going. It's coming along nicely. I need like 800, then I need 1,000, and that's gonna get rid of all those little swirls in there. It's still polished up nicely, but I don't want it to be that scratchy looking. That's gonna look killer right in the middle of these two guys. I'm gonna continue this next video whenever we get this car started. My goal for the next R32 video is at least to get it cranking or like to have a major step. So today I am stoked to um, finally get something in the mail that I ordered, I think the week I bought this car. So a lot of you guys know that my daily now to replace my R35 is an AMG GTS. And that's weird for a lot of you guys because there's a lot of people that just don't understand the potential these cars have. And it's odd for me because usually I build Japanese cars. This car has been a perfect contestant for me. It's amazing. It's already faster than my R35 was, not even on E85. <laughs> Literally just an E-tune and an exhaust. I wanted to get this car because it's very unique and I wanted to kind of step my game up and get into a different territory rather than the same thing over and over. Really excited to show you guys this today. I've been waiting for this for so long. I'll finally be able to do suspension, wrap, and then wheels are coming for this thing as well. Oh boy, you guys don't know how excited I am. Oh boy. Is her. This car's so loud. Oh yeah. Ayo. Let's go, dude. I'm so excited. Super Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a big fiberglass bumper and side skirts and stuff. Just trying to be a little careful with it. All right, nice. Ah, peanuts, my favorite. They they use biodegradable ones, so it's not a big deal. Be real careful with that. This is very very expensive. Say, it should be pretty light. Oh, but they break easy too. Before I give him his paperwork back, I kind of want to make sure this thing ain't crushed, dude. What the hell? This is how they treat fragile boxes. <laughs> That's bad. It's definitely not uh, the ideal way to a package of this important significance. Hopefully it's all good, dude. This thing is smushed. Whew. I'm gonna be really pissed, dude. This took 20-something weeks to make. This is embarrassing. What the hell? Look, it's just cracked. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna make a big deal about it if it's okay, but... I want to make, hold on, let me just say, I want to make sure nothing's cracked or anything, because you want to, if you need to use the grass, yeah, I'm sorry, we're not over. No, nah, dude, you're good, man. <laughs> it don't bother me. Yeah, thanks, man. All right, have a good one. You too, brother. This is not a car that's modified very often. But there's actually not super limited supply of, of aftermarket stuff for this, but these cars are so perfect from factory, not a lot of people touch them, but not us. Okay. Let's see what all we got. Honestly, don't remember exactly 
it's, it's been four months, so I know I got a wing, and I know I got a bumper, and I know I got skirts. I honestly can't remember exactly what else we have. <laughs> and guys, if you guys know me, the last thing I the last thing I ever try to do is like flex how much money I spend. That doesn't, I usually like to let you guys know how much I spend just because I wanna let you guys know how absolutely absurd some of this stuff is, especially when you get to a car this level and you wanna modify it. it makes you think a little bit like, oh, maybe 240SX is aren't that expensive, or maybe Jay-Z's being $5,000 really isn't that much, because <laughs> that's about how much this front bumper costs. This is going to make such a freaking mess. This is from Prior Design. Like I said, uh, this is the same company that I, ooh, here we go, nice. Same company that made my R35's front bumper. Now this isn't a sponsored deal or anything, I just really, oh buddy. I really like the quality of the bumper that I got with the R35, like usually whenever you get fiberglass stuff, there's a lot of fitment issues and uh, it gets frustrating and the R35 went on perfectly. I really wanted to treat myself <laughs> and get something that was really good. Woo, that's a lip. <laughs> Look at how much of a mess I am making right now. <laughs> oh man. What is in here? I think this is one of the, oh rip dude, it's broken. F, it is broken. God dang it dude. Four months of waiting and these freaking bozos don't know how to load up. That sucks. But I literally cannot wait. I mean, it'll take another two or three months to make the side skirt, so I might just have to have Jose fix it for me. Dude, what, hold on. I'm gonna get this unboxed so you guys can see it. That sucks. Thankfully, like, the most expensive part is gonna be the front bumper and all the other accessories that come with it. Side skirts should be super easy to fix, but I know Prior Design is not gonna be happy with uh, the shipping company, so we might have to go ahead and make a case. Oh boy. I was really hoping we got away scot-free on this one. I don't even, what does that even mean? Oh man, it's so broken, dude. Uh, here we go, guys. Here's my side skirt. That sucks so much. You would think if something says fragile, like, you would treat it for a delay, you know what I mean? Like, let's hope this skirt's all right. I will point out though, dude. I'll show you guys the quality of this kit, but it's impeccable. Obviously this stuff is very expensive, but well, you're paying for the quality of it showing up at your door. <laughs> Usually not broken. Okay, I let Prior Design know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep unboxing stuff. I'm going to forcefully push water out of my eye sockets if the bumper is messed up. It's not a replica GTR, but it's it takes after the AMG GTR styling, makes it way more aggressive. The front grille is awesome. Like the one thing I don't, and the reason why I bought a 2016 model, the pre-facelift, is because I knew I was gonna get the front bumper. I knew I was gonna replace the front bumper anyways, but uh, this front bumper is not very aggressive, honestly, from the, from the 16. Cracked right there on the bottom. Wow. It's cracked right there too. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. There's no way this is. Oh my god, those peanuts. Well, to show you guys how sick the front bumper is, thankfully, like, it doesn't look like there's any structural damage. This thing is super. Super aggressive. <laughs> oh man. Oh, prior design's gonna be so pissed, dude. We got a crack, a huge crack here, which that can be fixed. Like, I'm not trying to make a bigger deal about this than it is. Like, it can all get fixed, but that's really, really annoying that a, that a freight company would do this. I know XPO Logistics delivered this, um, but I want to say, oh, my sense. Yep, FedEx Freight, baby. FedEx Freight and XPO Logistics, which I think are the same. I gotta, they're kind of freaking out right now. I gotta send them some photos, um, then we'll keep unboxing. <laughs> I unbox stuff like an ape. So we've got a, a wing. So this is going to, this is prior design right there. This is going to go where the wing slot is. And then, this beautiful boy, hopefully she's not, hopefully, Hopefully she, beautiful boy, she. <laughs> Caveman get car part. <laughs> Rip and tear. Give me that here, I'll pull. I'm like the doom guy. I got a belly it can rest on. <laughs> you doing okay over there? 
telling you, my, my, my ape method does work. <laughs> I think my method is better. Oh man. That is nice. Yeah, it'll be cool. What I've also unboxed so far is the side skirts with the side skirt extensions. So we've got the side skirts. These are super aggressive. They actually have this cool little line that goes along with the body, just like the GTRs do. Sticks out a little bit further. And then you've also got the extendos on the bottom. If, I, I actually think I really wanna do carbon on the top of this. This stuff is all pretty small and shouldn't have gotten crushed. I'm just gonna open it up and then we'll see. Ready? There we go. So thankfully the front splitter is not uh, broken or anything like that. This is all intact. This skirt is intact. This skirt is definitely broken in the rear. It really sucks, but like, I know this is repairable. On a piece like this part right here, it's really hard to ever get it perfect again. Briar is, is, is filing a, you know, filing something with them, but I'm still stuck with body kit I've got to fix. I'm gonna call Jose, see what he says. What's up, man? Hey, dude, I got my prior design body kit in, and it's broken. They, the oh, shipping company, really? yeah, dude. That's a pretty yummy crack right there. That one right there as well. Is this repairable? So this, this skirt is just like- Okay, you, you do have the other piece over. Yeah, so I got both pieces, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they could be repaired. Yeah. Have the other piece. Also, you think it'd be, su this is a super big surface. Do you think we could carbon this wing? Yeah, if it's a flat surface, I just need to measure it to order the cloth, and then we can carbon it. That would be, I feel like that'd be super easy. Okay. Yeah, I can go ahead and carbon it for you. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, you're the man, Jose. I guess on the Evo, uh, I should be finishing some of the paint stuff that's left this week. Oh. But hopefully by next week, I can start doing the buff and polish. Cool. So by then, I'll get with you next weekend to schedule a day of, I guess, pickup and stuff. Cool. I have to uh, redraw the little holes for the, all the broken bolts that are left and pretty much piece it all together. Okay, so he'll come back and he'll fix it. What's kind of ironic about all this is we actually just had a huge fuss with FedEx as well. We had to ship my Evo's motor off to MA Performance to get it built or so they could check it out. They're actually not using that motor. But whenever I signed off, it was supposed to bill MA Performance because they have an account with them. And they ended up charging us, they charged us $2,000. I was like, no, I'm not paying that. You guys are gonna charge MA Performance and then we'll pay them back because they have an account. They tried to squeeze two grand out of us to ship one box. I was already kind of a little sour with FedEx, but dude, this is like, Icing on the cake, bro. I, I, I don't wanna just sit here and blame FedEx, but I also, you know, I have a bone to pick with them no matter what. That's definitely a huge bummer, but uh, I know Jose's the, the man and he can he can basically do anything with it. All right, check this thing out. This is the front bumper kind of put together. Cool little, cool little scoop under there. This thing's gonna look so aggressive, so get this in your brain. Nah, nah, bro. And then the side skirts as well. I'm gonna poke out skirt extensions and then with the wing, everything's gonna look so mint. I didn't get the rear bumper because the stock bumper actually flows really well with the kit. The only thing the rear bumper does is adds a bunch of vents and it was like another like four or $5,000 and I didn't feel like spending that. So there's also a bunch of diffusers and stuff like that I wonder, you can get, but I didn't feel like doing that. I really wanted just a clean body kit with the lower extensions. Here's a little side skirt action. I wanted to at least kind of see it up to the car on the non-broken side. It's gonna be really nice. It's gonna it's gonna kind of fling out, and then these skirt extensions are gonna make the car feel a lot wider. When I get wheels, <laughs> the car will look a lot better, but I'm gonna be rolling around on stockies for a little bit until my three pieces are done. I also have suspension to do. I've been kind of holding that off until I actually get the body kit. Are you guys ready to see the front bumper? This is going to look absolutely mad. Like I said, this is the, so this is the PD GTR kit, and it kind of takes after the super aggressive lines of the AMG GTR. So honestly, dude, the vertical grill just looks so freaking good. Not sure how I'm supposed to fit the uh, Mercedes logo in here, but we'll have to figure it out, I suppose. At the end of the day, you guys know that, watch me, I'm not, I don't like to be a complainer. Things happen, and this could have been a lot worse than it was. I am very thankful for people like Jose, who are the best of the best at the bodywork gang that I have on my team, that I can fix stuff like this super easily. But also lesson learned, FedEx is gonna treat your stuff like Garbo. But also lesson learned, like, this stuff can happen. Now this is officially beginning and uh, Jose is gonna be here next weekend, so we'll fix all of this and get the wing on. Actually, speaking of the wing, it's gonna be pretty cool. So now this is basically going to replace my stock wing 
I think. I don't know, I know nothing. We're gonna mount it like so, and the wing is gonna be on top of that, and that's gonna look really cool. The prior designs on top of it, they're gonna help me, they're gonna reimburse any damages, and hopefully whoever shipped this can learn their lesson to if a, if a freaking box says fragile, don't let it look like this when it shows up. We've actually taped it up so that the peanuts don't spill out anymore. Like being able to build R32s, R33s, Supras, and stuff like that, like that's, that was like, little kid, when I grow up, I will do that. But this is like adult, <laughs> this is like, I don't know dude, this is the dream. Being able to heavily modify a vehicle like this, that's, that's where it's at. I'm super grateful that I am in a spot to where we can do this and be able to modify a car like this and make it badass. That's not to say I don't love working on stinky old Japanese cars because these will always have a perfect place in my heart and I will always love a stinky old Skyline. Line it up, one look at the front, yes sir. For those of you who might be new, I give daily advice each video that I make. It'd be easy for me to tell you guys today just to, to be thankful and that life happens, don't let things get you down, but that's just normal and I hope that you guys just know and I hope you guys are constantly thinking about that. Something I had written down in the bank is having nobody or feeling like nobody believes in you can sometimes be your biggest advantage depending on how you look at life. When you feel like nobody believes in you, only place to go from there is giving 100% of your effort into yourself to prove yourself right. Take it from me. My entire life has been proving people wrong and proving myself right. Putting 100% into myself despite what other people told me was dumb or wouldn't work or this or that. When I tell you that I, like from the beginning, had no encouragement. I felt like I had nobody there to really root for me. I never had a gang of people always around me, gassing me up. I came from a very discouraging beginning, and my background was putting my absolute best into myself for 23 years with nothing happening at all until I was about 24, 25 years old. Don't feed off of negativity. Don't, don't do that, because then that gets weird and that's the wrong way to look at it. The way you should look at it is, if nobody believes in you, the best thing you can do is put 100% effort into yourself to prove yourself right. So many people told me, nah, you just need to go through college, graduate, and then, and then just get hired somewhere and you need to work like a slave the rest of your life. No, I said no. I listened to myself, listened to my heart, and went for it. And it doesn't always work out quickly, it doesn't always work out as fast as you want, but as long as you're good, and, as long as you're giving 100% effort, it will eventually. Promise. I've said this before, I'll say it again. Just because you can't see over the hill doesn't mean there's not something beautiful behind it. You don't have to have people to believe in you for you to do well. Guys, remember we're giving away this R32 and 3,000 bucks cash. Three times giveaways at 53supply.com. Two times giveaways, the link I have for you in the description at PowerJDM. If you wanna buy car parts, you can be entered as well with two times entries every dollar you spend, or you can do one entry every dollar you spend if you don't use the code, which is silly. Good luck on that, and I'll keep you guys posted on this. Make sure you're subscribed with that bell notification on so you can see my videos when they pop up. We'll get this fixed, do some carbon, and make it look amazing. You guys have a great day. Peace. Hey. I got two videos for you guys to watch. It helps me out a ton if you continuously watch my videos repetitively. That's really good for that uh, silly little algorithm we talk about. Also make sure you're subbed and you have those notifications on and just have a great day.